Cops tonight at 5, a bizarre call to 911 lands a Washington Township man in jail accused of killing his wife. But 2 News has just learned moments ago that man is now being released. Good evening. I'm Michelle Kingsfield. And I'm Mark Allen. Centerville police say the initial call came from inside the couple's home at 2614 Centerville Station Road just before 9 o'clock Thursday morning. But it is when the woman died that is raising some eyebrows. Holly Samuels is live with the disturbing details in our top story. Late this afternoon, after a couple of hours meeting with police, Montgomery County prosecutors have decided they need more information, including toxicology reports, before any charges can be filed in this case. So at this hour, as you said, 55-year-old Scott Walker is being released from jail. A light on in the front room of the Walker home reveals police detectives searching for clues in the death of 51-year-old Tamala Schroeder Walker. The investigation rocked the quiet, winding road hours after a strange call to Washington Township dispatchers from the victim's husband, 55-year-old Scott Walker. My wife took a, a crash the other night getting up to go to the bathroom, and she doesn't appear to be breathing. I can't get a pulse. Sometime from last night when I checked on her, she was breathing. I think she passed away. I don't know what the procedure is. I know what she wants. And I think she has a DNR paperwork somewhere in this house. Okay. So I don't know. I don't want you to rush out. The coroner's office has confirmed that Schroeder Walker suffered blunt force trauma to the head, but it's the timing that has investigators scratching their heads. The coroner says Schroeder Walker died Monday. Neighbors are separated by dense woods, and while they didn't want to go on camera, they say they knew little about the couple, who mostly kept to themselves. But the possibility of a killing in the neighborhood is shocking to everyone involved. It is unusual for us to have anything similar to this. Uh, it's been several years. Um, however, uh, you know, our officers have been trained and are prepared to respond and investigate these types of cases. And while the coroner has determined the cause of death to be blunt force trauma to the head, he is not calling this a homicide. In fact, the manner of death is listed as undetermined on the death certificate. Holly Samuels, 2 News on your side.